welcome to the R video tutorial on working with dates in R. Part one, this is part of Statistics 321 at Virginia Commonwealth University, but anybody's free to use it. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna need the rbobwti.csv data that's located in the repository, and there's a link in the description below if you need to go grab it. So go grab it. Uh, I put it on my desktop, and I'm gonna read this in. So if you're new to this, just hit pause while you go get the data, and uh, you can pick up with us as we go along. Okay, so the first thing I notice is that in my data, I have uh, date, RBOB and WTI. For those of you who don't know, RBOB is actually refined gasoline. So this is the price of refined gasoline on the market, not what you would get at the pump because the pump has taxes and stuff added on. WTI is West Texas crude, and this is in barrels, okay? And what we want, ultimately wanna do is maybe later try to relate these two to each other. But right now, we're interested in the date component here. We have dates in this data set, right? We see them here. Uh, March 11th, 2003 is our date. But is it really a date? How would I know if it's a date? Well, the easiest way to know if something is a date in R is try to subtract it, okay? So that's the first, very first thing you can do to see if this thing is truly a date. So let's do this. R, Bob, one, dollar sign, date. And I'm just gonna take the first one, and then I'm gonna try to subtract it from the second one. So R, Bob, one dollar sign date and i'm going to take the 200th one and if this gives me a subtraction then it is a date if it gives me an error it's not a date and look it gave me an error it gave me an na it says not meaningful for, for not meaningful for factors that means we don't have dates even though it looks like a date r doesn't see it as a date it sees it as a factor which is similar to a string Okay, so the first thing we might wanna do is actually like turn it into a date so we could do some date math with it, uh, especially if we're interested in date math. All right, so I'm gonna put here test to see if it is a date. And it's not. Uh, so to make it a date, we're going to create a thing called, I'm gonna call rbob.dates. And what I'm gonna do is simply do as dot date and be careful here this has to be a capital d okay uh and then we just put in what we're interested in r bob dollar sign date and here we're going to have to put in the format and i'm going to put some notes in here for the format for you but this particular date happens to be percent b percent d comma percent capital Y, okay? Uh, and I'll show you how to decipher this out in a minute. But if I run this, uh, it says RBOB not found because I actually didn't put the right thing in, but this should run. Notice I missed the one. Okay, notice there's no error now. I have RBOB dates in here. And if I look at RBOB dates, it will actually look slightly different. Notice it has in quotes 2007-3-01. So this is the year, the month, and the day format. And that's how R is gonna store things. So if you're not familiar with that format or like that format, well, you're just gonna have to deal with it. Uh, so how to come up with these formats. So the very first thing we need to do is make ourselves a huge comment here, how to determine the format. Determine the format code that we need to put on here, okay? So I'm gonna have to put a whole bunch of things on here. So percent D with a little D corresponds to the day of the month, okay? That's why we have D up there in the middle because it was something, the abbreviation for the month, then the day, then the year, okay? The next thing we're gonna need is percent M uh, well, here, percent B is the abbreviation of the month, okay? So this is the month for the month. And here, percent Y is year in four digits. Four digits. So if you only have two-digit years when you're reading it in, you may only have two-digit years, uh, you'll have to put that in so it knows what to look at.
Okay, so, so there's some other things uh, that you needed, and the comma there is because when we read it in, there was a comma in the format, and it's just showing it where the comma exists. Okay, so there's some other ones that you should be aware of. There is percent %y, which is year in two digits. There is uh, percent %m, which is month in a number. So number th like month number three. Uh, here we're going to need percent or capital B, which is the month full name. Not an abbreviation. And this really covers all of the codes that you would probably run into if you're doing these and determining what format to do. But this is actually kind of tricky, and people don't think about it very much. So you chain these together to try to construct how the data is set up. So our data, when we looked at it, if we looked at just, I'm going to do head here, rbob1 again, and... Notice that it was the abbreviation of the month, the day, then a comma, and then the year, and the year is in four digits. So you need these codes in order to decipher how to set this up. That's how I came up with percent %b, percent %d, oop, i got to undo that, uh, percent %d, comma, percent %y, and capital Y. All right, so this gets us going in turning something into date. So now we can do something very simple as test to see if it's a date just by subtraction. If it won't subtract, it's not a date. Oh, uh, maybe we should do that real quick here to actually see if our check works. So I'm going to scroll up here real quick and grab my little test. So I'm going to test to see if it's a date. Uh, and then scroll back down and then test to see if it's a date. Now, here I named it rbob.date right? rbob.dates. So I'm going to do rbob, not one, dot, dates. I'm going to take number 200 and minus rbob dot dates 200. Uh, do number one, right? See if subtraction works. If it does, then I know I'm dealing with a date. So run this. And it says time difference of 287 days. You're saying, wait a minute, Ed, you read this in and these are dates. Uh, there, You said that you started at 200 and you went back to one. So that's a difference of 200 or, or 199 days. Um, the problem is, is these are weekdays. These are trading days and there's holidays in there. There's lots of things that happen in those 200 measurements. Uh, notice there's like 87 days worth of weekends and holidays and whatnot where they're actually not trading. Okay, so now that we know how to read data in, convert it to a date format, we can learn how to, once things are in a date, extract information from it and that will be in the next video. So see you there.